I'm Roxana Pacino, and this is your quick training tip. This can be used as a tool for assessing learning during lecture or as a review. Students who do small group work generally learn more of the material and retain their knowledge longer than students who don't. What you want to do is have them individually, everybody is a one, individually complete a part of the brainstorming or the list making or the answer, what have you. Taking those individual answers that they came up with and having them discuss them with a peer to generate even more understanding of the topic and or clarify things they didn't even fully understand or didn't think of. So now these ones and twos are paired together. I usually ask prompting questions like something you and your partner talked about you didn't think of. Uh, what did your partner help clarify for you? Or uh, was there something you thought of that your partner hadn't? And how did that discussion go? And things like that. And then you're going to have discussion. Yay! Everybody's talking to everybody. All the learning. So the next time you're looking for a way to ensure your students' critical thinking, maybe try Nudge Your Neighbor. This variety I showed you takes a little more time, but is well worth it.